single day. Northport must fulfill request for records. Judge rules in lengthy battle for Hank's posts. Earl Kimmel. Sarasota Herald Tribune USA Today Network. Northport, a circuit court judge has ordered Northport to produce social media posts from former Northport City Commissioner Chris Hanks in a three-year-old public records battle. To date, the city of Northport has spent $9,524 in legal fees, rather than fulfill a public records request from resident Stephanie Gibson to see the contents of Hank's Facebook page, as well as his Facebook messages. Gibson asked for the records as part of a larger request involving documents related to the Sprout workplace investigation into the conduct of former city manager Peter Lear. The posts were made as Hanks had converted his public Facebook page from one that discussed city business to one that advocated for his campaign in the Republican primary for seat 5 on the Sarasota County Commission, a position ultimately won by Ron Kutzinger. Hanks filed to office in June, 2019, roughly a year before the workplace complaint was filed against Lear. After three votes, a divided city commission agreed to part with Lear under a separation agreement that followed the outside investigation into his affair with a subordinate. What the judge ruled. Attorneys from Bryant, Miller, and Olive, the outside counsel representing both the city and Hanks argued the city had no duty to turn over the social media posts that were not made and received in connection with official business. They asserted that Hanks, as a private citizen, was not required to do so either. Judge Hunter W. Carroll concluded in a December 21st order that the city commissioners are persons acting on behalf of a city commission when they communicate with constituents on matters involving the city commission or to be voted on by the city commission. This is so even though the commission does not specifically authorize or direct the record to be created. Carroll ordered the city to supply records in its possession but agreed that Hanks cannot be compelled to do the same, because he is a private citizen and not a public official. What's next in the case? Carroll gave the city a January 9 deadline to allow Gibson to inspect three Facebook posts, including a 28-second portion of a June 5, 2020, video during which city business was mentioned. She is also entitled to review 39 comments posted between November 13, 2019, and September 11, 2020. North Post spokesman Jason Bartolone, who also provided the accounting of the legal fees, said in an email that, our litigation counsel will timely provide the identified records to the plaintiff's counsel. He later added that all of that information had already been available on Hank's public email page. Advertisement. Northport from page C1 to C2. Hanks. Gibson. Advertisement. Copyright Copyright 2024 Herald Tribune, all rights reserved. Restricted use only January 6, 2024.